Hey guys! So, okay, I have an explanation since I haven't really been on for I think about three months. But um, a lot of changes have been happening in my life and I've been extremely busy and, you know, getting rid of stuff and packing and doing all this stuff. So, I'm, um, yeah, I, I just lost all my equipment to film and I only have this camera and um, I've been wanting to save up to get a better camera, better quality, better videos for you guys to watch. Um, I kind of drew a blank and I was like, yeah, you know, the motivation wasn't really there, which is a no exception and I think this is kind of tilted. But anyway, that's no excuse. Um, I am back and I did want to do a video um, as far as July favorites. Now, I am not um, extremely good with doing July favorites or month month favorites as what I meant. Um, but I was like, you know what, let me just try this out for now and show you guys what I have been using, what I have been loving, and what I have been hating um, this month. So I'm just going to go right to it because I do do have a lot of stuff to show you. So the first thing I'm going to start off is with makeup. Um, I, when I do my makeup now, um, I kind of follow what Nicole Guerrero does where she, she's also a YouTube uh, uh, vlogger here. <sighs> um, I'm trying to get used to the whole filming thing again. Um, I don't know why this keeps on. Hold on. Alright, stay. Um, anyway, she uses like three, four, seven different types of mascara for her eyes. Um, I do like my eyes, um, my eyelashes to be out there. I don't like to wear falsies all the time unless I really, really have to. So, um, but these are the three mascaras that I do use in my makeup routine that do work um, together. So the first one is the Voluminous False Lashes. This one is in, I believe it's in Carbon Black. I can't see the color. But I think it's carbon black, and this is one from L'Oreal. And yeah, you can't even see the color there, but whatever. This is the false lashes one. I put this one first. Then I put on the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. Carbon black. Everybody knows about this one. I put this one second, and I apply this one to my lower lashes. Then the third one that I use is the Mega Plush from Maybelline. So I put on. I put this one on for third all right i'm gonna adjust this really quick and then if it falls again i'm just gonna leave it like that that's it okay um so those are the three mascaras that i use and i do like um the second thing that i use is this elf contouring blush and bronzer um i have a love and i have a dislike for it but more love than dislike um this is the the duo this is the bronzer and this is the blush. I love the bronzer. I'm not too thrilled about the blush. Only because it has a lot of shimmer in it and I'm not a real big shimmer girl. Being that I do have an oily T-zone already, I don't like um, to look even more shiny. But the pigmentation on this is really good. Like this is the bronzer right there. And this is the blush which you can't really see. That's another thing, it's kind of light. But you can see the shimmer a little bit. There. So this one's from e.l.f. I think this costs like $3. But it, it works for, you know, its purpose. I just, I'm not too thrilled about the, the blush. Um, my third favorite, and I think this is the last makeup product that I have, yeah, is my Naked Urban Decay Basics Palette. I want to thank my friend Letitia Laura on YouTube for sending this to me for my birthday. My birthday was about two weeks ago and she sent me this as a birthday gift. And I love it. I've only been using it for like I think a week or so but I mean I use it all the time. Like I'm using it today as um, like I use the brown on my crease but these are, boy, these are the colors. I'm sure you guys have seen it. They're very velvety in pigmentation. You can see the white is really nice. The color, I think the white is Venus, but this is a great color for um, a highlight. But I love these colors. They go on smooth, they don't um, have any fallout for me. And I mean, you can wear them like every day like you can use it in the morning you can work you can use it in the evening if you're gonna go out 
but I love, 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 love this palette. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Letitia. I love it. So, um, that's that. Then, um, as far as, I guess, beauty, um, like, hair and stuff, um, I bought this recently. This is the Ant Antelene Coconut Oil. Um, basically, everybody knows about the coconut oil now, and it's completely liquefied because it's been in my room. But um, the story behind this is that you can use it on your skin, on your face, and your hair. Um, you can even use it for milkshake, like for shakes or juices, um, cooking. This one, um, I think it's just for your hair and your skin. I will not tell you to ingest this. Like, like don't eat it. This is not, this is for external use only. This brand, Antoline, is only for external use, which was only a dollar ninety nine. But um, I am planning on getting the organic extra virgin coconut oil. I just don't know what brand. I'm leaning more towards Barleen or the Nut Nutiva because there's a lot of brands out there. But um, I'm not sure which one yet because there are a lot of brands, and I want to do my research before I do it. But those are the two that I'm leaning towards. But this is really good. It smells great. You can use it for cooking. You can use it for your skin, for chafing, for your face. Um, as a moisturizer, you can use it on your nails like a cuticle oil. You can use it in your hair as a hair treatment mask. <sighs> Plethora of different things that you can use coconut oil for. Um, this other thing that I'm going to talk about is the Avon Footworks Clay Mask in Lavender. And this is for your feet. It's so good. It's so good. This is, you just put it on, it comes out like a clay, it smells really good. It gets a little hard. You leave it on for I think like, I think like 10 minutes or something or allow it to dry. Then you take like a warm towel and you just take the clay off, rinse it off, you know, and your feet are super, super, super smooth. I love it. You can get this at any I guess if you have an Avon representative, you can, you know, buy from them. Um, if you don't have an Avon representative, I have a couple of friends that sell Avon. Let me know where state you live in and I will have that information for you. Um, also, talking about feet and hands and stuff, um, Mary Kay Private Spot Collection Satin Hands. Everybody knows about this. This is really good. I use this when I do my nails. I use this when I do my feet. Jayla really likes this. When I give her like her little mini, like her little pedicures, um, she says it tickles because it's like kind of like a scrub. But I put this on um, right after the clay mask, like like when I'm in the shower and I'm you know just rinsing everything off. I do put this on my feet just for that extra smoothness. Smoothness. Boy, what's wrong with me? This is really good. Um, also, my what I like, my witch hazel. This is a dollar. You can get it at the dollar store. Um, I usually keep mine in the refrigerator, but I use this for if I have a heat rash, if I use it as a toner. Um, you know, this controls shine. You can use it as a makeup remover. You can use this for after shaving. You can use it for a skin cleanser, but this is really good. In the summer, I love to use this, like, like take it out from the refrigerator because it's nice and cool. It's refreshing. Totally, totally good. Like, right before I'm going to apply makeup, I always take a, a pad, like a, a cotton, and rub it on my face just to make sure that I don't have any old makeup on. This is really, really good, and I really, like, you, you can't beat the price. It's 99 cents. You know me. I'm, I'm a cheapy girl. I love my cheap stuff, and it, you know, just because it's cheap don't mean that it don't work. It works. So, um, before I go to the products that I don't like, let me just talk to you about my fitness stuff um, I've got this watch which is my polar watch for my birthday from the hubby and um, this is really awesome if you're trying to count calories if you want to know not count calories but if you want to know how many calories you burn during a workout or you know your heart rate this is a really good watch to get now this is the tricky part there's a lot of different watches out there um, when he first got it for me, he got the wrong one, so we had to like exchange it and get the one that I actually needed. The first one was I think the F1, which is only the heart monitor, and I wanted the one that tells you how many calories you burn. So this one is the FT4. So if you want the Polar Watch that tells you how many calories you burn throughout your workout, get the FT4. You can find these anywhere online. This one comes with like 
this monitor here and you attach it underneath like your breast line and then um, while you're working out and then it programs to the watch and you know the rest is history it tells you exactly how many um, calories you burn like today I worked out for 41 minutes um, doing this which is another one of my favorites for this month um, I did 41 minutes doing the total burn and uh, I burned 326 calories so this is really awesome this was like 1999 um, also if you know you guys do this let me know how it works for you because like I just I'm like I'm really bad when it comes to working out but I'm trying to keep my mojo going so this comes with three DVDs this comes with an extra bonus DVD uh, measuring chart measuring tape all that stuff but this is really really good and it's really fun to do so I like that um, as far as I'm almost done I promise um, as far as my literature like what I've been reading for this month um, my, you guys have heard me speak about Rachel Luna she is a success success coach she's a doll I love her to pieces she's one of my good friends and she actually gifted to me one of her books and it's called successful people are full of crap uh, courage resilience authenticity perseverance it's a step-to-step -step guide of getting it together and achieving your dreams if you got dreams and you don't know where to start get this book you can find it on Amazon um, I'll post the link on the bottom it's an amazing book you have like work uh, it has like uh, what do you call it activities to do inside the book things you can write things you can jot down it is work you have to do homework she tells you and she's real and she's raw she tells you how, how it is she is an extreme she has been an extreme help and an extreme blessing to my life I can't even tell you and I love this book it's amazing so definitely pick that up lastly my last two stuff but this is not things these are not things that I love these are things that I do not like okay the first thing is this maximum strength acne medication benzoyl peroxide gel from up and up I got this at Target this crap does not work I've had it for like three months I apply it to um, I apply it to my face whenever I have a zit or I'm having a breakout it does not work I have these heat bumps here on my head I don't know if it's because of the Sun or if it's because of you know the change I think my daughter's coming in in a row um but yeah this this doesn't work at all like I actually have to I don't even know why I still have it but it says help clear up and reduce the severity of acne breakouts this does not work it says face fabulous there's nothing fabulous about this and I'm sorry but it does not work for me and the last thing oh, was this um, deep shine color care invisible dry shampoo by Rusk I kind of got this in a, in a giveaway um, I don't like it it doesn't work for me it makes my hair oily it makes it stiff it feels even more dirty than it was before so this definitely doesn't work for me I mean I know other people that have tried dry for shampoo they love it I can't use dry shampoo maybe it's just because I can't use the dry shampoo but this does not work for me at all so um, um I don't have the top to it I don't know what happened but if you want it it's almost like probably up to here if you want it I'll send it to you but this doesn't work for me so with that said that's it those are my favorite products for July um, I know there was a mix of makeup and face products and hair products and you know workout and books and everything like that but I just wanted to share with you guys what has been keeping me busy and what I have been using for this month of July hopefully I will get this video up today and um, I promise to do more um, videos in the future now that I kind of have like a weird setup here I kind of know how I'm gonna work everything out until I get everything situated so um with that said hi. I you want to say hi you come here come here mm -hmm. they can't see you from there come and there goes my mirror mm -hmm. this is Jayla she's gotten very big from the last time you guys have seen her so um yeah so i think that's basically it i'm gonna stop blabbing and stop rambling and hopefully get this video up today or tonight or tomorrow morning but yeah it's gonna happen so thank you guys for watching um i will put up more videos if you have a request please let me know in the bottom bar um i will put all my uh 
social media stuff on the bottom bar as well like where you can find me on instagram and facebook and all that goodness so i love you guys thank you for staying with me thank you for continuing to support me you guys have no idea how meaningful and how appreciative i am to all of you so i love you i love you i love you and i will see you in the next video bye, bye. bye.